Here are the effects of learning in an emotionally safe classroom. So you're probably wondering, what is an emotionally safe classroom? An emotionally safe classroom can be defined as a classroom that has that an individual feels safe to express emotion, security, and confidence. How you might wonder, uh, the classroom directly fosters learning. It directly fosters learning by creating an environment that the students are more likely to engage and relay the information. This in turn leads to a better classroom behavior as well. Another question is, how can teachers obtain an emotionally safe classroom? They can obtain this by developing an open mindset, responding rather than reacting, engaging in active listening, and acknowledging positive behavior. There are a few triggers to be aware of that make children feel unsafe. These include sensory reminders of the trauma, touch or yelling, smells, sounds, images, and unexpected touch can remind the student of a traumatic event. Here are a few words from our local educators. Elementary counselor Carla, McC Carla McLaren states that she creates an emotionally safe environment by creating a positive atmosphere. She does this by having a bright, airy office that lifts the moods of those who enter. Elementary teacher Amy Jones suggests ensuring that your classroom is a place where students feel safe to share their ideas. She does this by stating very clearly that there are no wrong answers in any different ideas, only different ideas. Over here, we have a few statistics pertaining to emotionally safe classrooms. A no November 2018 report on the perspectives of high school youth about social emotional learning shows that 89% of current high school students from strong SEL learning schools say students at their school get along well with one another, compared to 46% of current high school students from schools with a less SEL presence. Another one here is in 2017 meta-analysis of 82 based SEL programs found long-term between six months and 18 months improvements in four areas. SEC or SEL skills, attitude, positive social behavior, and academic performance. 29% 29 29 of students who feel like their school provides a supportive, encouraging environment. 83% of students made academic gains when participating in an SEL program. 11% increase in average GPA for participants in the SEL program. Here are do's and don'ts of an emotionally safe classroom. A safe would be focusing on the student when they are talking and giving complete eye contact. A don't would be not making eye contact, looking away, or not giving the student full attention when they're speaking. Here are principles of practice. The full right side rings would be productive instructional strategies, social and emotional development, system of supports, and supportive environment.